Many women have asked me, what does it mean to be a woman who lives after God's own heart? Well, here's how I define that phrase. Just imagine living life in a way that people think of you long after you're gone. For instance, thousands of years after his death, we still think of King David. He was the faithful shepherd boy who slew the giant Goliath, the author of so many psalms, the chosen king, and the one God says was a man after his own heart. Before you freak out and say, but I'm hardly in King David's category, <laughs> let me just remind you that he was far from perfect. For instance, does the name Bathsheba ring a bell? But despite his tendency to forget to consult God, and despite his arrangements to murder Uriah so he could marry Bathsheba, and despite his less than solid parenting, David was still given that title, a man after God's own heart. I find that extremely encouraging as I continue on my path to becoming a woman after God's own heart. Our transformation into a woman after God's own heart is indeed God's work. But in my book, A Woman After God's Own Heart, I want to walk you through some practices that we can follow that place ourselves before God. Spiritual disciplines regarding our devotional life, our personal growth, our home, our marriage and family, and our ministry, so that He can work in our hearts. As we journey through the book together, I'll help you respond to circumstances with God's confidence to simplify your life by focusing on His priorities. Increase closeness with your husband by serving and honoring him. Build stronger friendships as you learn how to become an encourager and make wise choices and teach your children to do the same. Let God fulfill His greatest desire for you. Allow Him to transform you as you embrace His incredible plan for you. You will find lasting joy and peace as you pray and live out His priorities in a life as a woman after God's own heart.